Number one is the job. Number two is your is your house. Yes. Your marriage. Yes. In your family, for you people to marry is always difficult. It is. Oh, you hear me? Yes. The day you got married, there were problems. Yes. And there were people that were not happy about this. Yes. They wanted to stop it. Yes. So, but today, after I pray for you, I pray that this whole thing that the enemy wants to do must be cancelled. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Huh? Amen. But two, there's issue of business. Yes. That your husband was thinking about. Yes, 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 huh? yes, that's true. Which he told you. Yes. But he said to you, the problem is money. Yes, finances. If I get money. Yes. He was even thinking of doing a loan. Yes. Huh? Well, I, I'm the one that did the loan. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Yes. Because I'm seeing the plan of loan here. Yes. Huh? Yes. You did a loan. Yes. Huh? I did the loan so that we could come here, so that we could get a breakthrough. Huh. Because I'm seeing them talking, I don't know. I'm, to be honest with you, when I'm here, I speak what God is telling me. Yes. I'm seeing them talking. Yes. They are saying, loan. Yes. I'm seeing. The, I'm hearing loan, loan. Let's take a loan. Let's I take did a the loan. loan yesterday. Huh? I did it yesterday. You took a loan yesterday. Yes. My God. Mm. The reason why she took a loan is because there's nothing moving. Yes, that's true. Nothing. And now, sometimes you people, you, you feel like you took wrong decisions. That's true. That I don't want to say it here. Are you hearing me? Yes. But after I pray for you, there's a breakthrough that God will bring. I receive. Because you, you wish you can get a breakthrough. Yes. Because his life is so stagnant like this. He's I caged. Was, I was with him for five years when he was unemployed. So it was a struggle. That's why I'm telling you. Yes. His life is like this. It's like someone caged him. Yes. And here, you are getting tired. Yes. So today, today I'll pray for you. Are you ready, Yes. Bring him here. We also pray for you. Amen. There will be a breakthrough that will come. Amen. Are you ready, me? I will thank you. Go and bring him. Because I'm saying, I don't know, you people, you people, you, don't, you know that I don't know you. Yes. But I'm seeing sitting say, loan, loan. Let's take a loan. Yes. It's like if we take a loan, there will be a breakthrough that will Amen. come. Yes. I didn't know the loan is of mm. coming in. Mm. But I'm hearing that you talking about loan, 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 loan. But today, there's a breakthrough that God will bring. Amen. Bring him here, we pray for him, God will give him a job. Amen. Because this lady now, she's tired. Come out! Out! Out, you demon! Out! Come out! You demon! Body. Out! Out! Your dirty spirit! Body. Out! Huh? So you're the one who's making these people to suffer like this? Yes! Huh? <laughs> they huh? suffer so much, these people, you should so see them. So you want this lady to divorce, that's what you want? <laughs> They suffer so much. Huh? They suffer. So today you, you leave this no, lady. No, I'm not leaving. You, you leave her today. No, I'm stopping everything. Huh? She must suffer financially. You're going to leave her today. No, she must not have money. She must lack money. Continue it, My name is Lucia, and the prophecy that I received today was about a job that I am searching for a better paying job because my responsibilities have increased. I also received prophecy about um, about quarrels in the family, about um, marriage, that it's a struggle, it's a generational curse, and also about my partner wanting to start a small business, which is starting off slowly because we like finances. And I believe that the reason that many of us as Christians suffer financially is because 
we give the house of the Lord zero, but we expect to get a hundred. And we, we, if once we start giving our best to God, He will give us His best, and we'll never be disappointed because the giving is a spiritual law. The same way that gravity is a law, whatever you give, whatever you throw up has to go down. So whatever you give to the house of God has to be multiplied. God cannot multiply your zero because it will become another zero. So once you give God your hundred, he will multipl multiply your hundred and he will bless you further. And the man of God also prophesied you about the loan that you took, confirmed that to be true. And what is really happening with that issue? Uh, we decided that I will go and apply for a loan. I applied for the loan yesterday after hearing from the man of God that we will be having one-on-one -on, -one on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So I took the loan yesterday and I believe that I'll be receiving a breakthrough no matter what. How are you feeling right now as the man of God was able to tell you the things that are really happening in your life? And before the interview, you said that you had a list of the things that you wanted God to touch. And apparently, the prophet of God touched all those things that you wrote. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very excited. I feel expectant. I feel that God can only give you what you are expecting. You need to see it first in the spirit before it can manifest in the physical world. And I believe that greater things are coming. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as the prophet of God has declared unto your life, you are coming back with a testimony. And I believe that you shall surely come and tell us what God would have done in your life in Jesus' name.